Oh dear. There it goes. Yes. Hello and welcome back to Warbital. And today we're going to be doing one of my favorite things. Today we're going to be getting aggressive, very aggressive. So we're going to be starting off with a refinery, then building nothing but quill guns. Basically, we're just going to be building the first thing available to us, spamming it out, and then shooting until there's nothing left to shoot at. So the coil gun is the basic weapon for the Celestials faction. It's got just a basic cannonball style shot. When you activate its action, it splits into three smaller shots. And the three smaller shots don't deal as much combined damage as the single one shot, but it does have a better chance of penetrating any anti-air, penetrating defenses and such. So we're gonna build as many of these as possible. And you've already got two of them and they're charging up. And the third one's being built right now. Just gotta wait for them to get close and then uh, start hammering away. Uh, usually players in 1v1s like this will go for more, uh, should we say, defensive play. Lots of ref refineries, lots of resources go straight for the late game tech and just start bashing away. But we're not going to let them get there, at least not going to let them get there easily. I uh, hope to blow them up along the way. So let's see how let's see how it goes. Let's start firing. Alright, first shot away. Now he's definitely going to know what we're up to. And that's three shots out already. So we now got four quail guns up. Uh, all four of them are recharging. I need to start building my fifth one here, but I really want to take out his refinery. There it goes. All right, so refinery's down. So let's see if we... Uh... This one's almost ready. All right, his defense, he's getting his first defensive structure up. Um, if I can take that out before it's ready, or is it already too late? All right, it's already up. However, it doesn't have a whole lot of charges yet, so I should be able to take it out before. I should be able to overwhelm it with what I have. I need to build another coil gun. Okay, just get two of them going. Alright, there we go. It's wasting resources. Well, technically not wasting, just wasting time a little bit. And... Ah, uh, it's planet rotating. Stop it. There we're close. Good enough. Okay. Just hit all the things, please. Just send them all there. Oh, they both made it through. He tried to get both of them and then missed both. Alright, so one of his weapons is down. One of his shotguns is down. So we could just do straight damage to his planet now. Another boy is ready. So from the last video to this one, I discovered the beauty of this map up on the top left. And you, if you call it as another planet, there's actually another icon that you can use to switch between them. So you don't just have to keep selecting the individual planets. You can just go switch between each planet and use the top left GUI map in order to actually interact with the planet you've switched to. Um, it's not ideal, and you can't use hotkeys to do it as far as I can tell. So you still have to click a lot, which is real unfortunate, because I would really love to be able to use like something like the number keys to be able to switch between bases instead of just having to, to click on the map and then click everywhere else. No, no, no. It's, it's way too much clicking, way too much time to just switch planets to interact with anything. Got, like, heaven forbid I actually have to defend against what I'm doing to this poor guy right now. So this guy is going to get higher tech faster than me, and that, that's fine, I don't really mind. I'm just gonna wait for the tech to get real cheap, and then I move on, because I'm doing damage to him. You see, my planet is untouched. His planet is not so untouched. By the time that he actually gets some defenses and such going, I should be able to just up start upgrading my weapons. Or, you know, colonizing other planets, or anything else. I just gotta keep up the firepower here. Oh, that's gonna hit me, and that's fine. It's just, it's not really doing it hit my structure, so I could just repair that at some point. Like right now, there we go. And it doesn't really deal damage to the planet. That second hit actually dealt damage to my planet, but that's also fine. Because it's not gonna do much, it's just a basic weapon. And unlike him, or unlike me, he's only got not many of them. Though, he's actually trying to do the same thing I am now. I'm gonna get a defensive structure. It's not the greatest defensive structure, but it'll build up over time and get stronger. That way I can defend more things, and it's it's really not that great at defending any one thing in particular. It just kind of... That, this defense structure is the one that creates orbs around your planet. So it just kind of has like a, you know, a some percent chance of intercepting projectiles, which is, which is nice. It's cool. And 
at level one it only has three projectiles, but as it levels up it gets more orbs around it and make it even harder to actually do something. Um, noticing that I can't really hit him from here, at least not reliably. Um, which is really concerning because that's just going to give him time to eco up. Because I don't think I can realistically hit him here. Because those shots are going to get close to the planet and go wild. Uh, yeah, look at that. These shots are not, not really hitting anything. Hmm, that's great. Oh, that one's going to hit. Oh yeah, okay, so that one hit, but that's not enough. Just one tiny shot is not going not gonna to do it. Um, I'm just going to keep firing, because why not? But I need to I need to figure something else to do here. Hmm. Well, I need to repair my stuff, because I'm taking a few hits. Yeah, like, number three there is just kind of flying off into the oblivion. It's these bang shots around this tiny planet here, because the tiny planet moves, that makes it really difficult. But I am still digging into them, so it's... It's working, it's just not as effective as I want it to be. Alright. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fire into the sun. Because if I can blow up the sun, then it'll start dealing damage to everyone in the game. So when you destroy the sun, not only does it change... Not only does it have this massive explosion that damages everything around it, but it changes the dynamic of the game. The sun is a much, much smaller area now, so you can kind of pass through the the, uh, the black hole that gets left over, rather than crash into it. Now, I mean, if you hit the very center of it, you're just gone, but you can get real close to it without encountering it. But more importantly, it slowly destroys everything nearby, or everything in the solar system. So every planet will just kind of decay, leaving only the core exposed, and you just have to one-shot the core. But because my planet's almost unharmed, I'll be left at the planet and he'll be left at the core for a very, very long time. And with my massive amounts of smaller weapons, I should just be able to sneak at least one shot through his defenses and just finish him off. So that'll work nicely. That's a, that's a good use for destroying the sun. Uh, looks like my opponent's trying to farm some of the planets over there. Just fine for him. I'm just gonna keep blowing up the sun. I suppose I could start shooting my opponent now, but now I just kind of want to blow up the sun because oh, ooh, 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 there it goes, there it is. You can see it's it's having a rough time. Looks like my opponent wants to get in on get in on this action. I don't know if he knows that blowing up the sun is going to be the doom of him, or if he just thinks it's gonna look cool. I mean, it's gonna look cool. It's not that's unquestionable. But it's not in his uh, it's, it's advantage to blow up the sun. Not uh, okay. So he's not trying to blow up the sun anymore. He's just farming the other planets. Because in this game, if you shoot uninhabited planets, you gain. Hmm. Look at that. That sounds so cool. Yes. Yeah, so if you shoot other uninhabited planets, you actually gain resources from it. So that's what he's doing now. And we have planetary fragments. It looks like I missed one of my shots. Like, how do you see, like seriously? How do you miss the sun? But I missed one of the shots and blew up a planet. Oh, it's so close. Look at it. It's flashing. Oh, dear. There it goes. Yes. All right. Uh, looks like I'm getting hit by some solar debris. This is fine. But you see how the projectiles are just kind of flying around the center without actually hitting the middle? All right. So... Now the planets start decaying. You can see his plan is decaying pretty quickly there, whereas mine is also decaying pretty quickly. Uh, just let me repair it real quick. And then start firing away, because his core is going to be exposed real quick here, while his mine's got at least a couple minutes before it's exposed. Let's get some damage done. Yeah, he's almost down to nothing but a core already. Right, he does have some defenses left. Oh, I hit his core! His core is exposed. Look at it. He's nothing but a core left. All I gotta do is hit it a couple times. Uh, he does have some defenses, though. Uh, maybe I can upgrade one of these guys to a mass driver. Or I could just try to aim between his uh, buildings and just fire. Yeah, there's another hit. Come on, get in there. Now he blocked it. 
Right between, right between his buildings. Nope, that's that's not between the building. And that's also not between the building. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there. I was gonna hit the building. Uh, okay. Is that gonna change to be right between the buildings? That should be right between the building. Come on, get in there. Yes, that's another hit. Oh yes, we got him, boys. That's the power of the basic weapon the lowest power weapon in the game but anyways guys if you like this video and want to see more just like this make sure to hit that like button and as always hit that subscribe button so you guys can see the next time these videos go live but for now have a good one and i'll see you guys later